Hey guys, you know what time it is for me, of course, it is time for my Diet Coke break. And today I am going to go ahead and do my unbagging of my March Ipsy bag. This just came in the mail a few minutes ago and today is Saturday. So I wasn't expecting it today. I actually thought it wasn't coming until Monday, but it's here today. So that's a good surprise. I haven't even actually untaped this or anything. So we're just going to open this together and see what I got this month. I'm really excited. I know that I swapped in. Um, some of my points for something, so I don't know if that's going to be included in this or not. Oh, wait, it is. Okay, good. Um, oh, there's something else on the inside of this bag, too. There's another brush. Um, okay, so let's just see what is going on with these brushes. First of all, this is the brush that I redeemed some of my points for. This is the um, one of the Luxie Beauty brushes, which I really, really like, and I actually was introduced to the Luxie brushes through Ipsy. And since then, I've gotten several, actually, um, a couple from Ipsy, a couple from, I think, BoxyCharm, and I like every single one of them. But this one that I used some of my points for this last time, this is the Luxie 227 Blending Brush. It's just one of the eye brushes here. Um, it's just a really nice brush. It's very, very soft. Um, I think I already have one of the blending brushes. I don't think I have this one, but anyway, that was my little extra this time that I got with some of my points. So I'll put that down there. And then I'm assuming there's another brush on the outside. So I'm assuming this is something that came in my bag this month, but let's look at the bag first before I get into that. The bag this month is really, really cute. It's a cloth but the back is like solid and it's like a suede feeling material. It's kind of like a rose blush sort of color. The front has the same material, but then it's got this really cool kind of gray, like a dark gray mesh over it. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's really, really cute. And then here, right here over the top is the zipper. The zipper is kind of um, a rose gold color this time. And you can see there it says Ipsy. I like the bag. It's bigger than the bags usually are, you know, fold the top over and I guess that's kind of cute, carry it like a clutch, but there's nothing to secure it right here, so you just have to hold it shut. But um, this is a good size. I like when they send bigger bags sometimes because you can use those for traveling and things and it's just a lot more things will fit in here. So I'm going to first look at the inside down in there of my bag. And the card this time is really small. Usually it's a bigger card, but it's a small card this time. And it says, you are beautiful, pass it on. Here's the card, which is really cute. And this says, a pretty is as pretty does. Share this card with someone who could use a little love. Here's the back of the card. And as usual, it doesn't give us any information on the products, which I really wish Ipsy would do that. But it's okay, because if there's something I really want to know about, I can look it up. First thing, obviously, is what was on the outside of my bag. And this is another, looks like, eye brush. So I love getting brushes. Anytime I can get a brush, I'm really excited. This one is from the brand Scone, S-K-O-N-E, and it just says it's a blending brush. You guys can see this. It just says Scone, and then it says blending right there at the end. This is just um, a really nice brush. It has like a dark handle, and then this part right here, the part that attaches to the brush right here is like a rose gold. The brush is really, really soft, and it's kind of a bigger brush head, if you can see that there. But um, yeah, it looks really nice. It feels very, very, very soft very good blending brush so this is going to be great for the crease especially since it's a bigger size so i'm really excited to get that brush reach in and pull out the next thing and this is from eva nyc which i've gotten a few things from this before usually always hair care also hair care from eva nyc this is the may magic 10 in 1 primer it looks like this it is just a primer for your hair um, so you're supposed to just spray this in your hair and I guess it's supposed to do great things so we'll see how that works but here that is a little bit closer up okay so that's the second thing well, let's pull something else out and it is a tube from first aid beauty I love things from first aid beauty anyway so I'm always happy to see anything in my bag from first aid beauty this is the ultra repair face moisturizer just a small size like this, but honestly, um, I've had a sample this size before and it lasts a really long time. Like I said, I know this is good quality, so it's a good thing for me to get in my bag. I know I can use it, I know it works, and then I'm gonna get use out of this. Pulling out is a lipstick, I'm assuming. This is from Tarte. This is the Tartiest Lip Paint. This is in the shade Rose. Maybe it's actually Rose because it has one of those little apostrophes over the E. Here's what this looks like, just a tiny little baby sample from Tarte. 
But again, this is the Tardy Slip Hank. This is in the shade Rose. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this to see what it looks like. Doe foot applicator, so that's nice. And I'll just go ahead and swatch this. And so there's a little close up of, of the brush beside the swatch. I like that color. Actually, I'm wearing a tart color on my lips today. And it's also a mini. It's right back there. Um, hang on one second, I'll grab it for you guys. It's this one right here. I got in the birthday set from Sephora in February. And it's also the same thing. It's one of the tardiest tart lip paints, except this one is in the shade birthday suit. So I don't know if it's I guess it's one, of, it's, so I guess that's, you know, appropriate being that it was in the birthday kit from Sephora. The rose and this one's in birthday suit. Please get away from my door. Get away! No! Husbands that just want to walk by when you're filming just to annoy you. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, this one is in rose. The one we just got, this one is in birthday suit. Just for comparison, I'm also going to swatch the birthday suit because I said, like I said, that's what I'm wearing today and it's, not super bright or anything, but that it's not like a very bright color. It's more of a neutral also, which is just sort of what I'm accustomed to. So it's the same dofo applicator and let's see. We'll compare the two shades just in case you guys were wanting to know. I just did right here. It's birthday suit and this is the one we got in the bag today in rose. So there's two of those shades there if you were curious about either one of those, the Tardiest Lip Paint. I think I said that the Tardiest Lip Paint was my third sample. That was actually the fourth because we have the brush, we have the hair conditioner um, spray stuff from Eva and Mossy. We have the First Aid Beauty was the third thing and then the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint was the fourth thing. And the fifth thing is in this box. This is from the brand DLS, which it says on the box, Dirty Little Secret. I have one thing that I've gotten from them and it is like a highlighter and it's really, really pretty and really pigmented. I don't know where you can buy this at. This, however, is a blush and it says the color is Kitty Pink. So it's really pretty. I, If it's pigmented and really pretty like the highlighter I have, I'm gonna be happy. Here's the shade here. Like I said, it's in the shade Kitty Pink. It's very pretty, it is powder. So this looks like, I would almost dare to say this looks like a full size, but we're gonna swatch this down right here and see how that looks. It's pretty, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just a very, very, I don't know, it's kind of like a natural pinky, fleshy kind of color. See if I can get just a little bit darker just so it'll show up, but looks like a really beautiful, just natural color. And right here's the shade right here. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, I love kind of more neutral color blushes and things like that anyway. Those are the five things that came in my March Ipsy bag. I love the bag. I love every single product that I got this time. I can always use an extra hair type conditioner product, you know, something. It's good for travel and, you know, if nothing else, it's good just to try out for new things to see if maybe it's something you could incorporate into your hair routine. But yeah, I'm really happy with everything. I love the color. Of course, this is the rose color here and then that's the blush. I'm happy with both the colors of products that I got. Either one of them are too bright or anything that I feel like I couldn't wear on an everyday basis. Those are absolutely my colors. The face moisturizer, I'm really happy with. The brush, I'm really happy with. So once again, Ipsy this year so far is three out of three. I'm really happy about it. I really love the bag this month. If you guys are bag twins, please let me know below. I would love to hear it in the comments. And if you didn't get stuff that I got, let me know what you got and what is your favorite thing in your bag for the month of March 2017. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would. And I guess you're going to have to hit the bell if you want to know when I put videos out. Um, just because it seems like that's what everybody's saying you have to do now. So... Have a really great rest of your weekend. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.